Hi guys, in this video, we are going to be discussing about chapter number one of your biology matriculation, which is molecules of life. Molecules of life refers to any molecules that are needed by all living organisms. This includes us as human beings, animals, plants, amoeba, fungus, and also bacteria. There are five molecules of life. These include water, carbohydrates, protein, nucleic acid, and also lipids. In this video, let's focus on water first. These are the lesson objectives that you need to complete by the end of this video. For water, by the end of the lesson, you need to be able to state the structure and properties of water molecules. Secondly, you need to be able to relate the properties of water that you have learned with its importance. For example, one of the properties of water is universal solvent. So, what is the importance of water being a universal solvent? Water. What is the chemical formula for water? Water is known as H2O. So let's draw one molecule of water and label the bond in the molecule. So water consists of one oxygen atom covalently bonded with two hydrogen atoms. All right, so this is covalent bond. So as we have learned in secondary school, covalent bond is formed via sharing of electron. As you can see, these are the electrons that are being shared between this hydrogen atom with the oxygen atom. Meanwhile, these are the electrons that are being shared between this hydrogen atom and the oxygen atom. This is so that both of the hydrogen atom and oxygen atom within a water molecule achieve stable electron arrangement 2888. Let's have a look. Because of the sharing of electron, the oxygen atom now have two electrons in the inner shell and eight electrons in the outer shell, achieving stable electron arrangement. Because of this sharing of electron as well, both of the hydrogen atoms achieve stable electron arrangement by having two electrons in the inner shell. So, that is how covalent bond is formed between oxygen atom and hydrogen atom within a water molecule. Since covalent bond is a physical bond, it is drawn with solid lines. Now, in the next box, it is stated that water is a polar molecule, or if we translate it in Bahasa, it means air adalah molecule berkutub. What makes water to become a polar molecule? All this can be easily revealed when we look at the periodic table. As you can see, as you go across the periodic table, the electronegativity increase. So what is meant by electronegativity? Electronegativity refers to the tendency of an element to attract or to pull electron. Let's consider oxygen and hydrogen here. As we can see, oxygen is more electronegative compared to hydrogen. Oxygen can pull electron more strongly compared to hydrogen. Even though both oxygen and hydrogen atom share equal amount of electron for the formation of covalent bond, because oxygen has stronger ability to pull electron, the electron shared here will spend more time nearby the nucleus of oxygen atom. So therefore, 
there is unequal distribution of charges occurring. So to answer this question, what makes water to be a polar molecule? We simply say oxygen is more electronegative compared to hydrogen, or oxygen has stronger ability to attract or to pull electron compared to hydrogen. Therefore, the electron shared between oxygen and hydrogen atom will spend more time nearby oxygen atom. This results in unequal distribution of charges between oxygen and hydrogen atom. So, to answer the question within this box, we first have to draw normal water molecules, like this. Now, let's label its polarity. Oxygen will pull electron from two places, from this bond and from this bond. Since electron is negatively charged, this oxygen will now gain two delta negative pole. And hydrogen will be labeled as delta positive and delta positive. You cannot simply label two negative and positive. This is because water is not an ion. This is not ionic bond. This is covalent bond. This delta sign refers to a slight negative charge, a slight positive charge because of the unequal distribution of charges between oxygen and hydrogen atom within this water molecule. So we essentially have a molecule that is just like a magnetic bar with two poles the North Pole and the South Pole. But in the case of a water molecule, you have the partial negative oxygen and the partial positive hydrogen. Now, what happens when you put two polar molecules nearby each other? Just like magnets, two different poles will be attracted to each other. As we know, hydrogen is a partial positive end of this water molecule, and it will be attracted to the partial negative oxygen in this water molecule. Hence, it is said here, the partial positive hydrogen of one water molecule will be attracted to the partial negative oxygen on the next water molecule. The attraction is called hydrogen bond. And since this is only an attraction, the bond has to be drawn by using a dashed lines. The hydrogen bond, or the attraction, will only form if the two molecules are close enough to each other. If the two molecules are separated far apart, the hydrogen bond will be broken. All the water properties arise because the fact that water is a polar molecule and its ability to form hydrogen bonding. There are six properties of water, first one being Water acting as universal solvent. Water has a low viscosity. Water has high specific heat capacity. Water has high latent heat of vaporization. Water has high surface tension. And water has maximum density at 4 degrees Celsius. We will look at each of the water properties in detail together with its importance.